This video shows you how to correctly replace seals on the Dynastar 200 to 1 and 120 to 1 grease pumps. Plan for one hour to complete this procedure the very first time. Before starting, make sure you have the Dynastar High Pressure Seal Kit, number 26B069, instruction manual 3A7519, and these tools. First, we'll disassemble the pump. Close the master air valve to stall the pump while it's in the downstroke position. Close the shutoff valve. Open the pump drain valve to relieve remaining fluid pressure in the supply line. Check the air regulator and pressure gauge to verify the air and fluid pressure have been relieved. Disconnect the air supply hose from the air motor. Disconnect the fluid outlet hose. Remove pump assembly from the container and place it on a workbench. Remove muffler. Remove pump lower. Use a 1 8 inch hex key to remove screws and mounting plate to expose the vice mount flats. Position and secure the pump horizontally in a vise. Use a 1 and 15 16 inch socket to loosen the inlet cylinder and expose the hex on the connecting rod. Use a 3 quarter inch socket to loosen and unthread the shovel rod. Leave shovel rod inside the inlet cylinder and set aside. You may need to push the connecting rod in to allow the socket to reach the hex on the seal retainer. Use a 1 and 7 16 inch socket to loosen the seal retainer, but leave it hand tight in the pump cylinder. Use a 1 and 13 16 inch socket to remove pump cylinder. Position one wrench on the displacement rod flats and another wrench on the fluid piston flats. Loosen and remove the fluid piston. The fluid piston can stay connected to the connecting rod. Remove the check ball from inside the displacement rod and set aside. Use a 15 16 inch wrench to remove the three outlet housing adapter bolts. Carefully remove the air motor and set aside. Use a 2 inch socket to remove the throat seal retainer nut. Complete the pump lower disassembly by removing the outlet housing adapter, spacer, throat seal, throat seal backup rings, and the O-ring face seal. <laughs> 